You see, yesterday was Yannick's birthday. And we were planning to celebrate it in beautiful Las Vegas. Well, that didn't work out. See, our original plan was to start in LA, travel across the West Coast, go to New York, and come back after one month. So before we went on our trip, we were wondering, should we go or should we stay in Mexico? Because of course we knew about the existence of uh, the thing that shall not be mentioned in case we want to keep our monetization. So we're just gonna call it Voldemort from now. Before we left Mexico, there were less than 20 cases of Voldemort in Los Angeles. So we decided to ask a couple of our friends that are living there, how's the situation? And they all said, well, things are pretty normal here. We're fine, you should come. So we went. And we had one beautiful day in Los Angeles, but that was the same day when Trump suspended travel from Europe and the World Health Organization declared it a pandemic. That same evening, we went to the supermarket and we could already see the outcome. Water was sold out, bread was sold out, everything was selling out super fast. So we were thinking, let's just cancel our entire trip and go back to Mexico before they close the borders and we're stuck in the US and we cannot even go outside. So we booked a flight and two days later we were on our way back to Mexico. In Mexico City, they measured our temperature with a weird gun looking thing pointing at our heads. We were fine, so we were able to go through. And from there we kept going to San Luis Potosí. Which brings us to yesterday. So since we arrived here, we've put ourselves in self-quarantine for the last one and a half weeks. Nobody asked us to do it, but we did it either way. Because in case we have Voldemort. Yes. And Yannick had birthday yesterday, so that was pretty sad for him. I know that he was really excited to go to Las Vegas. He was talking about it forever. And now everything's cancelled, so I wanted to make this day special for him. I asked you guys on Instagram to give me some ideas because I'm not creative enough. <laughs> <laughs> and you told me that I should bring Vegas to him. And I decided to try my best and remotely bring Vegas to San Luis Potosí. I divided the day in several different stages and the first stage was waking up in Vegas. She wanted to wake me up with a song. Well, that didn't work out <laughs> because I was awake first. Mm -hmm. And then we went downstairs because Joss wanted to make breakfast for me. Now, I love scrambled eggs and Joss hates eggs. Disgusting. Yeah. So she's never made them before. So I had to teach her. <laughs> in the end, she did a great job and we had breakfast in the garden. So we were not contaminating the kitchen. It was, it was very nice because the weather in Mexico is super great. And we're stuck in my room. Yeah, great. <laughs> After breakfast, Joss told me, wait here. I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna prepare something. I was freaking out here. I was trying to be as fast as possible, but nothing was working out. All the decorations were falling. At one point, she was done and she called me upstairs. Mm -hmm. I went upstairs, I entered the room, and everything looked like Vegas. Mm -hmm. It was like originally Vegas. Vegas on a budget. <laughs> Vegas on a budget. <laughs> Look at this, there's a heart with a lot of coins. Mm -hmm. I have super much money now, I'm super rich. Wow. A lot of dollar signs, they're all mine now. Not also really. this $100 bill. Yeah. I don't know what's doing there, but... <laughs> I saw this photo from Vegas. I had to have this made. And what I didn't even realize is that on the table there was Joss's phone with my whole family, basically, mm -hmm. on Skype. They were singing happy birthday for Yannick and the parents already knew that I wanted to do this. And while I was decorating, I was already on the phone call with them and they were like laughing at me because I was like, don't talk to me, I need to finish this fast. <laughs> so that was an amazing surprise to see my family there. And there was one more thing that I didn't notice. It was hidden behind this poster and there was a cake. And it was not just a normal cake. It was cake. not a normal cake. It was cake. the cake. <laughs> the craziest thing, just bought me a camera. A new camera. <laughs> what? This is crazy. I had this idea already before. I wanted to do this in Vegas. I managed to do it here. I called a bakery and they made a custom cake for Yannick with the shape of a camera. And it looked super cool. Mm. But he saw it and his reaction was like, what? Can you believe it? This is a cake and when I saw it I was so confused. <laughs> then just told me it was a cake and I was like, oh, what? <laughs> yeah, so now I have a camera mm -hmm. and I have money all. That's just decoration. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was time for the Bellagio Fountain Show. I'll show them what we're seeing, what we're watching right now. We're watching 
the Bellagio Fountain Show. Wow. If you've been to Vegas, you know there's this amazing hotel called the Bellagio and it has a fountain show every hour or so. And it's super nice. Like who has that? It was a unique experience because we were laying in the bed watching the Bellagio Fountain Show right in front of us. And I was spraying you with water. Yeah. So that it would feel the breeze. The 4D the experience. <laughs> she was always like, boom, right in my eye. Yeah. <laughs> it. Afterwards, we had lunch together with Joss's parents. They had a table for themselves all the way at the wall. And we were like four meters away mm -hmm. with our table. After lunch, it was time for the cake. Una, dos, tres. Wow. Whoa. One piece. The outer part, which was black, we ate it, and today we, poop. we are pooping green. Green, dude! <laughs> I remember I went to the bathroom and I saw it, and I was like, I'm not gonna talk about this. And then Yannick knocks on the door of the bathroom. Did you poop green? <laughs> Nobody needed to know that. Too much information. After lunch, my next stage was making cookies because Yannick had only one request for his birthday. He really wanted to make cookies with me. Yes. And now we're making cookies because it's my birthday. <laughs> and you wanted to. <laughs> and I wanted to. We have very nice chocolate <laughs> chips. And I still have my Vegas cup, of course. I've been drinking from it the entire day. So there were only two things left to do for your birthday. The first one was the Vegas show. Because what is Vegas without a show? Mm -hmm. I know I was gonna lip sync for my life! <laughs> the show started with the Java Wokies. And afterwards, she kept going with Celine Dion, Mariah Carey. With J-Lo and... Vegas. Britney Spears. Wow. Who gets to experience four or five different mm -hmm. stars in one day? That was amazing. Light show. And then it was movie time. And we watched The Incredibles 2. Yeah, and with that, the day was already over. And I was like, no, why can't I have birthday for a whole month? Yes, even though it wasn't as impressive as it could have been, I realized <laughs> that the intention is what counts. And I think you felt my love. So even though our original plan didn't work out, uh, you made my birthday very special. Mm. I'm and happy. I still felt like I'm in Vegas. Really? A little bit. <laughs> a little bit in cheapo Vegas. Yeah. If you guys are spending your birthday in quarantine or social distancing <laughs> and you cannot party with your friends, we send you a huge hug. Yes. And we hope you make it special, even if it's alone. Yeah, just be creative. You know, there are a lot of different things you can do on your birthday, even if you're in your room. <laughs> yes. Another thing, we have a aviso parroquial. A special announcement. We've noticed that YouTube is not recommending us to any new people. Like we can see it on the analytics that it, they're just showing our videos to the subscribers and that's it. So if you want to help us out to get out of this hole, <laughs> please share your favorite video from our channel on your social media, on your Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, wherever you want. We would really appreciate it because we want to reach more of you and we want this family to grow and grow. Yes, and don't forget to like our videos. Subscribe if you're not already. And we'll see you next week. Adios, muchachos. Cheers.